don't copy a US pitch, you're guaranteed to fail. So many UK founders turn to classic examples of US pitches as a starting point for their presentation. The Airbnb deck being one example. But this will never lead to you raising investment in the UK. Not because that pitch isn't good, but because UK investors are vastly different. I'm often asked to explain these differences when giving talks or speaking on podcasts. In response to this, I often talk about the different attitude to risk, the fact that UK investors are more risk adverse and that culturally the US has a different attitude to failure. And while that is all very true, I recently came across this stat that I felt couldn't better illustrate the vast difference between US and UK investors. It turns out that in the UK, only 8% of investors have worked in a startup. Compare this to the US, where the figure is 60%. This explains a lot. It explains why in the UK, the overwhelming majority of investors focus on the long-term implementation strategy and five-year forecasts. Even at a seed stage when these things feel so unknown. And it explains why in the US, investors tend to focus more on the founder's personality and their ability to problem solve. The trouble is, UK investors don't know what makes a successful founder from their character. They've never been involved in a startup firsthand. Instead, they turn to key documentation that helps them analyze the startup, just as they would if making a corporate level decision on where to allocate budget in an organization. And you can't blame them. It's just the way they are. It turns out that in the UK, half of all investors come from a consulting, finance and investment banking background. This really helps us to understand why UK investors appear to be so reliant on seeing experienced sector experts and ex-founders as advisors and place so much emphasis on the team. It's because they've not got the knowledge to assess the founder's ability themselves. Instead, they're looking to third parties to validate this for them. If someone credible is putting their reputation in their sector on the line to back this founder, and they must be good. The trouble is, we're not going to be seeing a shift in the UK VC landscape anytime soon. So as a founder, there's no point wishing investors were more like they are in the States, or complaining that investors need to do more to see things from a founder's perspective. It just won't happen. They hold all the cards and have more startups approaching them for investment than they need. Instead, you have to understand what it is that investors are looking for to make a decision and deliver them that information in a way that they understand. By having a detailed business plan, credible financial projections and a pitch that gets investors both excited by your idea and demonstrates you have the plan, insights and advisors to make it a success, you'll begin speaking to UK investors in their language and dramatically increase your chances of success.